All right, hello everybody and welcome back to another uh, Roblox Studio dev stream. Uh, in today's video, we're going to finish up where we left off on working on our emergency vehicles. So I'm pretty sure the ambulance now works. What I did was I made the buttons so they're not transparent, hoping that they would click better. But I actually think it's my mouse uh, is the reason why I'm not able to click buttons. All right. Let's unlock. <laughs> did I not make it unlock? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Nice. Oh, I have to wait. I can't override it while the game's playing. Yeah, I like it. Cool. So now we need to convert the fire truck. That was the big, the big goal. And then what I also want to do is uh, maybe bring in the SUV. So actually, we'll have to shut that down. We'll have to take the SUV from the blue truck in the city. I'm a little disappointed that they aren't working. But it takes a long time to go through, you know, to make the models and that. So one of these days we'll have to go back through.
Yeah, this will take a minute or two to load. So what I'll do is I'll probably just grab the SUV. Oh, no, I, I was thinking the SUV or the pickup truck. Just thinking here. We've got the flatbed tow truck, and then we have the bigger tow truck. Uh, and then we have... Crane, right? Just in case you want to lift something up. That's gonna. I don't think I'll. The thing about the crane, the reason why I can't convert it, is um, when you mouse click, what you're doing is it creates a ray from your mouse to wherever you click on the vehicle, and then it creates the rope. And I wasn't able to recreate that with the controller. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I could try again, I, su I suppose. But yeah, it was just the code worked. Everything was fine. It just the game didn't want to recognize uh, the input and where I was clicking. And maybe, I don't know if that's just a mouse thing. Maybe the mouse is more sensitive to where it can click on the vehicle versus the toggle, the, the console. So that was one issue. So the crane is going to have to stay PC only, unfortunately. Um... But then the question is like, okay, so then we, we, we're going to add more vehicles. Uh, cars, I suppose. We'll do, like, we'll do like a taxi company or something. And then if we add a truck. Yeah, maybe a truck and an SUV would be cool for an emergency. And like I say, just customs, not police, um, but commercial, commercial police. I guess they're police. <laughs> they don't arrest you know the uh, the bad baddies they pull the truckers over so in this I really like this health sign too so I think we're, we're gonna take it Okay, and we want a pickup truck and an SUV. So if we're going to vehicles. That's customs, huh? So we've got the custom the van. All right, we'll take the truck and the SUV. The off-road, that was my first attempt. <laughs> Try to make a vehicle. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, this probably isn't going to go over too well. Oops. So what we get with the pickup truck. Now these ones should be, I'm going to test this because these should be ready to go. This is, these are the vehicles I thought I was grabbing and I had grabbed a set of vehicles and they didn't work. And I was like, what, what's going on? What? Oh yeah, I see some parts, I think falling off. So this one didn't have this one's got the lane control, but it doesn't have this. Why? I don't know. Alright, they are definitely broken. They are definitely broken, and I thought I saw some parts fall off. 
Let's see here. Let's see. Here. Let's see if we can. Catch those parts that fall off here. Let's see. Oh yeah, something the shifter. Is that the shifter? Where is that? That's right here? No, something. Something inside here falls. Hmm. Yeah, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here, put it in here, and I'm just going to switch the red to blue. I'll delete this ELS, and then I'll just swap the uh, controls over. Uh, we could do that, or actually we need the car. We need the car. Okay, so let's get rid of this one here. We need the coupe. The only, th only thing I can think of that's coming from right here is the shifter. But the shifter, is it like it's, is it its own thing? Let's see here. So that's one part of it. That's the other part. Oh, part definitely, I'm not imagining that, I hope. Part definitely came off. All right, well, I guess that doesn't matter. We'll, we'll have to go through that. Okay, so here we are. We're trying to focus on the fire truck. Okay. Um, we put the weld thing on the thing. So we need to separate, uh, we need to separate that from the main... UI, wherever that is. Let's find it first. It's usually in part. And then we had this. Which is where? Oh, yeah, I put it there. Okay, so we get rid of the click detector because we don't need that. Um, and now what we need is the lock. From here, it's like I've done this enough times that I should know by now what I need. I guess I'll put it right in there, I guess. Oh, this is the main, that's the main one. I would always to get confused. Let's put it in there. Yeah, let's see. And we'll rename this to lock. And 
and rename this one to lock. Then I can find it. Okay. We don't have to do anything else. That's it. As far as merging it into the vehicle. Oh, and then... Sorry, one more thing. One more. We need the value from the drive seat. And then what we need to do is edit. We need to find where trailer functions is. So first off, we'll do that. Dot parent dot. We need mist. Dot parent dot. Parent dot. Dot mist. Dot trailer function. All right, that's all we need for that. Now A and B. Right, we need to find the drive seat. Uh, oh. Okay, this might actually work out to our advantage. Dot drive seat. Oh, dot parent dot person. Yes. Excellent. Okay, well, that was the easiest thing we could have ever done. So now what we need to do is we need to take the... UI for the front for water functions and we need to put the water functions into here and then I just need to script So that's the water functions. Uh, now I just need to see, because we have the water script. So now we need to try and connect the variables from, oops, from here. It should, in theory, in theory, should be ready to go. Wondering why it's so laggy, it's those trucks. Those emergency vehicles are causing all this lag. Here we go. Just like that, it works. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. <laughs> the emergency uh, controls work. 
from there and from here. So I guess I just have to find out where the sounds are. And I could delete this one. This part here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, let's see. It had two welds. Let's see what the welds do first. Right, because we're using the trailer functions. And we already have the. Oh, you know, I should. I should do that. Just. It seems like the functions are similar. Oh no, they should be. A, let's see a second here. Hold on. There's a fly flying around me. Sorry. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to swat at the fly, <laughs> and then I'm trying to think about how to explain what is happening here. Okay, so the not the controller, but if we look at oh. We're using this UI script from there and there. Okay, so we can get rid of this. I'm pretty sure, with confidence. Yeah, it's amazing how a bad script can make your game That's what was happening. Okay, that was part of it. I still think there's something falling over here. All right, let's test this. So if we close the water, because we already knew that worked, and we turn on like... Okay, so what we are missing Where are we here? Miscellaneous. We are missing the lock controls and we're missing the console. Which we can just copy right over. And what I like about that is they're universal. All the emergency vehicles are going to be exactly the same. I suppose if you hate it, then you're gonna you're gonna hate it. Oh um, yeah, but then this way, um, put these on here. This way, perfect. Perfect. It makes it so much easier. These two vehicles here, I'll just do the exact same thing I just did. The only difference is I won't be able to copy and paste the um, A chassis tune. Into the cars. They'll need the A chassis from our car. And that's just because they're tuned differently. These are tuned for the truck. They're bigger weight. 
suspensions tuned differently, height, all that kind of stuff. Like this one here is a bit. See how the wheels are a little wonky like that? Alright, so if we say. This is what we have to change now. We have to find lock. Which is where? This part here. In the body. Coming from miscellaneous. Huh? Probably got parent dot parent maybe. Parent dot parent. All right. Alright, so we have to find whale in the drive seat. Script dot parent dot parent. Dot drive seat dot All right, let's test this out here with the controller now. Was it X was lights, right? And B was sound. Oh, which UI was I? <laughs> The ambulance. Well, no wonder. Couldn't uh, find it. Oh, does this, this one still has the sound? Ah, uh, I see. Script up parent. Up parent on sound. Script up parent. Sound dot whale script dot parent dot sound. All right, let's close that. 
Let's close that. Now we're working on the right one. Dot parent. Dot drive seat. Dot whale. Dot parent. Dot drive seat. Dot whale. All right. Now what we need to do is one more thing. Let's test to make sure it can find person. Making sure we can connect that through. I'm on my controller. Close that. We'll, we'll figure that out in just a moment. And this should be, yeah, see lock. All right, let's figure that out. So we are script up parent probably I'm gonna say dot parent. Dot body, yeah, I think that's what we want. Dot parent. Dot body. All the logic is already there. I don't really wanna have to rewrite it if I can avoid that. Yeah, it just can be kind of, it can get confusing. All right, so to close this, this eventually is gonna be here or up here somewhere. And then we're gonna have to make a separate one up front just for the console. Oops, okay, so if I hop in there, Oh, then the other thing is I need to rename the fire truck. All right. So that worked. It connected through. So we'll rename the fire truck. 22 S car. And then let's get rid of this here. goodness <laughs> uh let's unlock it first what do you mean lock what do you mean what do you mean it's it's not i thought it was dot body oh because there's two that are Weird. I wonder if that'll. This could be interesting. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to increase the axle strength here just a little bit. Okay, so that works. Uh, let's see. Unlock. Unlock. All right, the lights. Come on. Yeah, it's unlocked. Oh, would you look at that? SW. Old steering wheel. What you, what you mean, S, SW? Not, it's not in there anymore. Miscellaneous. Oh, because we have. Where's the script? Did it call a script?
Any chassis interface, steering wheel. Is that a plug in? Oh, that's a plug in. All right. That plug in there allows all these other steering wheels to, to turn. But we haven't upgraded the fire truck yet. One day. One day we'll upgrade the fire truck. Okay, cool. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Yes, and then we need to move this. Okay, so. Yes, I like that. Okay. Now we're driving air free. Cool. Now you see how there's that bend there in the rear the rear tires? So what we need to do is we need to tune a chassis a little bit. Our weight is only And, oh, that's why. Look, our, our forward dampening. What's our rear? Where's this dampening? That's 600. Maybe that's too much. Something is colliding with the wheels. Right, once you fix the suspension, it rides differently. And all this in the back is, is collidable.
see what we got going on here now that I've kind of tweaked it a little bit. Oh, you know what? It probably, I think I know what it is. It's the weight. I cranked the weight, and then... Yeah, I cranked the weight to 8,000. We could probably go to 7,000. And then I didn't change the horsepower. We're over here. Uh, horsepower is only 250. So if we crank that up to 350... Much better. Okay. So now what we need to do is take this contraption here. This, this, and this, we'll copy that. And what we'll do is we'll let's see, paste it into there. And now I just have to find trailer functions from here. Trailer functions, okay. Now this is going to work, and then take the controller. We're going to get rid of the emergency controls, and we're going to get rid of the frame. <laughs> and all we want are the water functions. And of the water functions, we're also going to delete the clothes. Which is what we'll... Oh, actually, we'll, I'm not going to worry about that one yet. We'll do that one in just a minute. Uh, and you can see where it is on the screen. So what we gotta do is we gotta edit it also in there. Okay, so that's gonna work. The controller should work. Now we just have to choose our buttons. All right. And of course, what I want to do is where the buttons are, we just go right click, uh, insert object. And I'm using the tablet layout, or table layout, <laughs> tablet layout, just a table. I think it works. Um, and then that's percentage, and then this, the size. Be sure to switch the size over to percentage from pixels. And that way it will scale. Everything will scale. The buttons will scale. It will scale. Cool. That goes back into here. And let's give that a quick test. It's not running because it gave us the error on frame. All right. Silly me, I didn't delete the variables. No, not that one. All right, one more time, one more time. So, and then what we'll do is deactivate. When you lock the fire truck, this prompt will go away. So nobody can just come up and 
turn on the water. There we go. Uh, um, Now I need to think about how to, let's see, do a time check on the video. Okay. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one here. Uh, oh, all right. Oh. Let's close this one here. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Something else coming through here. What's going on? Uh, where were we? Yes, that's going to do it for this video today. Uh, in the next video, we are going to all have thought about which buttons we're going to use for the front controls. Now, the beautiful thing about the front controls is it's its own window. So we can connect more buttons to these functions than if we were to use it with this window back here. Uh, oh, we'll do one more thing. We'll do one more thing. Quickly before we end this video here. Where did I? This one. Uh oh, have I lost it? Oh, it's in there. Okay, anyways. I want to take the size. Oh. My mouse has finally bitten the dust, I think. All right, we'll put that there. And then what I want to do is take this here and go paste. And then we'll do the same thing. Right click, insert object, UI, table layout. Click on the table layout, fill empty. And you can go through here and change the design of it. I'm sure there's a, you know, we can figure it out and, and play around with it. Make it look real cool. We'll change the, we will change the colors make it more, I don't know, adaptable, better looking, <laughs> something. We'll definitely upgrade it, definitely have to upgrade it. Okay. This is gonna go back into lock. Alrighty. Alrighty, we'll do a quick test. Make sure it all works. See how it looks. Oh yeah, there we go, okay. And then if you're zoomed out. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe I'll change that one to X. That might be better, right? Because you're still connected. So now that we have this frame open, as you can see, if I press B or X, nothing happens. So what I can do is I can wire fresh, uh, fresh things to the thing. I just have to remember that four buttons are in use, Y and D-pad right and left, right? We don't want to spawn a new vehicle and we don't want to accidentally donate while we're trying to use the water cannon. But that means we still have one, two, three, what, four, five, six, seven buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. So every single one of these water controls will connect to a button. And then the Xbox players will be able to use the fire truck. That's going to be fantastic. Well, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed it, thank you very much. And have yourselves a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one.